Today, I'm going to show you just how to make a really cool video with photos and music. Let's jump in. So we're going to do this in Canva. So this will work whether you're on PC or Mac or whatever your, your computer preference. And you're just going to head over to canva.com. And if you don't already have an account, you can click on the link below and sign up for an account that way. And, and it'll take you to your home page here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new video. So you see that across the, the bar right here. And this is really cool to be able to create a slideshow of pictures, whether it be for a wedding or a birthday or anniversary. It's a really nice gift, really nice way of collecting photos together and putting them all in one place. So what we're going to do is in the video section, we're going to create a video landscape. So we'll click on that one. And this is already formatted to the 16 by nine template. But if you want to, you know, make this in the vertical format or whatever the case is, you can certainly do that as well. And first things first is we want to upload some of the photos that we want to use in this. So you just click on the upload button here. You go to upload files. And then you just need to navigate to wherever you have your photos stored. And I've got a handful of them here. Let me just select these photos around my studio here. So we'll just open those up. And of course, before we get too far into this, I'm just going to click up here on Untitled Design. And we're going to name this Photo Video, just so when it auto saves, it'll have a title that it'll be saved under. And then down here, you see this is kind of the blank frame that we're looking at right now. And by if I click on that, the default is five seconds. We're just going to change that to three seconds just so that each photo that's on the screen is, is there a little bit less time so we can move through these pretty quick, which I think is a good duration for each photo to kind of pop up on the screen. And then we just want to grab our first image here and click and drag it right onto that frame. And there you go. And then if you double click on that, you could see we can adjust what part of the picture we're looking at. I'm just going to go like that. Click done. And first thing, we're just going to get all our photos out of there. So we're just going to take the next one, go over to the plus sign, add that in. Again, we want to click that and make that down to three seconds. And again, we can kind of adjust the framing of that, double clicking on it, get that adjusted where you want, click done. And then we're just going to repeat. So we're just going to drop these other ones in here, just like that. There you go. And so you can go through and you can add each of those photos. And of course you can adjust that however you want. You can make some photos stay on there longer or shorter. I'm keeping them all three seconds at a time. So now that we have all our photos in there, you can play through there and you can see what that looks like. And this is okay, but we can do more with this, okay? So we're gonna add some transitions into this so that we have like a transition between each of the photos. So if you hover your mouse between two photos, you could see down here there's add transition. And then you have a couple of different options. So you can see what those look like. And you can pick the one that you like the best. So they have a lot of different options here. And some of them are, are a little bit more customizable than others. But I like this circle wipe. So we're just going to add that. Okay. So now we have between those photos, we have that. You could do that again, and you could add the same transition, or you could do a couple of different ones. So I'm just going to go through here and select some different transitions between all of them. Okay. And it's entirely up to you how you want that to look. And then when you click on the transition, so like this one here, you could see you got some different options. You could, you could change the duration. You could change the direction that it goes. And I'll do a diagonal. You could change the colors. So maybe I want to do a red and a blue like that. And so you have some other customizing options in there. And then you could also just click apply between all the pages and it'll keep it all the same. I'm going to keep a little bit of variety and have them all kind of doing something a little different. Let's say we want to open with a title of what this video is going to be. So you just head over to the text tab and let's scroll down through here and find a text option that we want, or you can create your own from scratch. I'm just going to find one that's kind of nice. So maybe we'll take this one. And what the other thing too, is that you can see here in the bottom right hand corner, and some of them said pro that is for the upgraded. That's the paid for account. 
if it doesn't say that, it's available in the free account. So just something to keep in mind. So we find some text here like this. Maybe I want to try this one. Let's drop that in there. And then I'm just going to change the text here to go my, click on the next block, highlight that, studio. Okay. And then we just need to resize that. So we're going to stretch that out so that all the words are on there. Okay. Now, because it's grouped, we can resize the whole thing just like that. Get that looking like we want it. Drag that right in here, just like that. And then you can see down here, you can stretch this to wherever you want it. Let's say we want it to be just right within there. So then you can see down here, this is your title slide. So we're just going to stretch that. We're just going to adjust the sides of it so that it comes in right during that first photo. Get it to right where you want it to go and see what that looks like. So now I'm seeing we need to have this first image a little bit longer. So we're just going to stretch that out so that we have a little bit more time for that text to be on top. And let's see what that looks like here. There you have it. So sometimes it takes just playing around with the lengths of everything and watching it back and previewing it, and making sure that it looks the way you want it. Now, this looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of animation or a little bit of movement to the photos so that they're not just static images on the screen, right? So you can kind of move the photos around in the video to make it even more dynamic. So all you need to do is just click on one of your images. And then up here at the top, you can see it says animate. Click on that. And you've got a lot of different options here. So what we want is we want just a nice little slide across there. So if you click on that, and then you can go apply to all pages. And so that'll apply to each of those scenes. We'll just close out of this. We'll show you what this looks like. So back up, hit the play. And now you can see everything's just kind of moving a little bit just creates a little bit more interest. And so obviously you could change the direction it's moving in or how fast and all of that, but this is pretty nice. It just has a nice little flow to it, okay? Now, what we wanna do is we wanna add some music. So right now it's just completely silent. So you see down here, your kind of timeline view, there's an audio tab, we click on that. So you can scroll through here, you can see that there's, there's quite a few that are part of the paid account. So you need to upgrade to use those or you can even upload your own music in there if you'd like to do that. But we're just gonna pick one of these that is part of the free account. There we go, I like that. And so let's just get our playhead to the beginning of the video here. And then when you click on that, it'll just add that in there. Now you can see a couple of things happen. This audio track is obviously longer than the video that we have. You can see that it automatically cuts that off at the end. If you click inside of that, you could sort of slide the bar back and forth if there's like, you wanna to get to the chorus or a certain section of the song here. And then we'll just preview this back. There we go, pretty good, pretty good. Then up here, you click on fade and you can select to have it fade in. Let's say we wanna fade in for one second, fade out for one second, so that when it starts, it doesn't start abruptly since we're beginning sort of in the middle of the song. And if we bring the playhead to the beginning, it'll sound like this. And then it'll fade out just the same way at the end. And so with that, we have a pretty engaging, fun video that has some transitions, has some movement, and you can watch that back and decide, okay, that's what I want it to look like. And it is automatically saving on the cloud up here, so you don't have to worry about that. And so once everything's the way that you want it to be, you previewed it back, you know that's how you want it to be. Then you just head over here to the share button. You click on that and then you go over here to the, you could either just send a link to this to somebody if you just want to share it that way, or you click on the download and it's suggesting the MP4, which is a good quality there. And then you just click on download and then it'll just download that onto your computer so that you have the video file that you can now post on YouTube or share with friends. And with that, you're all set. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.